Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Counterpoint Conversations. This is uh, your host Mohit Agrawal, and I am here in Austin today with Nakul Duggal. Uh, Nakul is uh, the Group General Manager for Automotive, IoT, and a lot more things, right? Yes. So good to be here with you, uh, Nakul, and uh, good to be there, part of uh, Qualcomm's launch. Uh, so you are launching the IQ series today. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the strategy that you have for the AI at the edge? Yeah. So very nice to be with you, Mohit. And uh, thank you for having me. Uh, you know, the focus that we have had in the industrial space is as we watch industrial intelligence become such a large part of how various uh, markets, various verticals are transforming. What became pretty apparent to us was there is a need in the market for uh, an application processor that, on the one hand, meets the quality, the reliability, the operating environment uh, conditions that these very tough products require. On the other hand, the product has to be safe. It has to be designed for uh, application like robotics, like uh, manufacturing, industrial automation. Mm -hmm. And AI is at the center of every transformation that is going on. So the IQ series tries to address all three of these uh, requirements. The IQ series is a family of products that we have designed that are designed to be, first of all, inherently for uh, complex, advanced, highly robust operating environment conditions. Uh, we support uh, a junction temperature from minus 40 degrees to plus 125C. Uh, these products are designed on a safety fabric, mm -hmm. so you can use it for any kind of safety application. We uh, run a safety controller inside the chip. We have uh, dedicated uh, safety applications for all of our AI blocks, our CPU blocks, uh, our uh, GPU blocks. We support up to 100 types of AI. Right. Uh, we can run 7 billion parameter models locally. So the types of things that you can do with a product like this is uh, really second to none. There is nothing else on the market that has this type of capability. All right. And, and recently you also launched the Qualcomm AI Hub and also uh, right. AI Orchestrator. So how does this work with uh, right. that series of processors that you're That's launching? Right. So all of this is part of our solutions framework, right? Mm -hmm. So the industrial solutions framework is focused on, first of all, on the AI Hub. The AI, the AI Hub is designed for you to be able to, as a developer, design your application, pick your specific uh, AI model that you would like to optimize for the application, and then deploy that model on the specific chip that you've selected. The AI Hub has the intelligence to be able to optimize the model mm -hmm. such that it will work effortlessly with the right type of performance on that specific chip. That's part of the solution framework. All right. The orchestrator is designed to be able to figure out what is the specific use case that we're looking to deploy and then ensure that the path that the use case follows is maximizing the capability of the device. It determines what runs on the device, what runs in the cloud, what runs in a hybrid fashion. And so this is all part of that same end-to-end -end solution framework that we have. Got it, got it. And an ecosystem is definitely going to play a large part or large role in this uh, AI journey that we are all encompassing on. So how is the ecosystem coming together for the IQ series right now or the or AI in general? So uh, the way that we have designed the solutions framework is that it is really uh, chipset agnostic. Mm -hmm. One approach that we have taken is anything that we will design that is part of our solution framework will work on any of our IoT chips. Right. So all of the chips introduced as part of the IQ series they're all compatible with the solution framework. So all you have to do is to figure out what is the workload that you're designing for. You pick the appropriate chip mm -hmm. from the IQ series family or really any other family of processes that we have that are supported by the solution framework. Once you decide upon doing that, you pick your specific application, make sure that the AI hub has the right models or you can bring your own models to the AI hub. Right. Once you have that, you have then the ability to be able to uh, design a container for your application. If you are already containerizing your application, we can support your container within our mm -hmm. framework, and then you design microservices around it to be able to go manage the application. That's right. as straightforward as it is. So we're going to make this available to all of our developer ecosystem partners. We are working already with a number of different ISP partners, a uh, number of different end customers who are starting to use this framework. Right, right. And and how about I mean this is. Uh, uh, that goes with the 
about the developers, but how about the channel itself? Like what kind of channels are you going to use for go to market? So the channel focus is multifold. We are going to focus on customers top mm -hmm. down. Uh, we have a concept of feature customers and I'll share more with you as we start to get into the specific details of uh, what we are uh, you know, doing, for example, in the oil and gas space. We have been right. working with a partner like Aramco, partner like Honeywell. We made an announcement this morning with Honeywell in terms of what we are doing with them in the energy and oil and gas space. That would be a top-down push. Our bottom of the push is to really be able to make these platforms as broadly available to as many developers as possible. You can go to the internet, you can download these, uh, uh, the solution framework, you can order the development boards, and you can get started. So we have this bottom-up, top-down strategy that allows us to be able to scale very quickly. Thank you. Thank you, Nakul, for your uh, insights. Thank and I'm sure much. our listeners would be very pleased to know more about and they would be looking for more information. So um, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Very nice to meet you.